everybody. Welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Two teams that really don't see each other very often on the schedule collide tonight. What does that sort of mean for this one? Well, it's certainly different, and I think the players really enjoy it. I know as when I was playing, I got tired of seeing the same guys that you play in your own conference all the time. And for the fans, it's new players to watch. They love it. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Penguins start with possession as we are now underway. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Here they are on the attack. Snaps it on net, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Feeds the puck across to Gensel. Here's a chance. Gets in front of it. Takes the feed after his goalie chooses not to cover up. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Sends one up to Kapanen. No, he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. And a strong effort on that play. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Taken by Kessel. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. The Penguins have it against the wall. Nice pass. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Here's a short pass to Ekman Larson. Big open ice hit. The Coyotes move to the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. It's a two-on-one. Gives them nothing in front. Takes the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Stepan. Hammers the shot. Too much congestion in front. Puck picked up by Rust. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Demers takes the puck. Takes the feed. Dishes it to step on. Pokes it away in his own end. Arizona's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And now he passes up to McCann. Pass stolen in the open ice. Arizona's got the puck against the boards. Loses his balance on the play. Moves the puck. Look out, a two-on-one. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Kemper. Slides that one right across the blue line. Picked up along the wall by Chikrin. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it to Kraus. The Penguins take over on possession. Take it along the wall by Chikrin. Slides the puck over. The Penguins take possession here in the open ice. Handles the puck from the left side. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Arizona's got a hold of it against the wall. Over the line they come. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. They haven't had a power play yet. The game's scoreless. This is a fantastic opportunity to break the ice. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. 12 minutes, 54 seconds. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Still scoreless in this one. The Coyotes win the faceoff. Along the half wall with the puck. Pittsburgh's penalty killers get a hold of it. Big time stop. Whiffs on that. The Coyotes go to work on offense. Picked up along the boards by Kraus. Huge steal in his own end. He's in all alone. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Quick pass across to Kraus. Back at the point, they set it up. Stones him in front. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Coyotes will get some fresh legs out there as they continue this power play. Drills him. Tries to feed it over to Latang, And that's just out of reach. Fires one on goal. And they score shorthanded. You go into this penalty trying to keep the game level. Now you get a bonus, that shorthanded goal.
Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. The Penguins are now in the enviable position of playing in front. Once you get in front, you can maybe dictate a little bit about the way the game will be played, and that's a good place to be. Puck scooped up by Edmund Larson. Receives the pass. Denied by the goaltender. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. And he totally whiffs on that one. They go on the attack through center. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Stopped by the goaltender. The goalies are always trying to get better at this. Making the save, but getting the rebound into the corner. The Coyotes' main advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. And I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. He's lucky this isn't a court of law. He'd be going to jail for that robbery. In the final moments of this period, the Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. That goes off a twig. Takes the feed. And look at this, a three-on-one. The Coyotes take possession in the defensive end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. With some open space at center. Well, that'll get a response. They're gonna go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not gonna go to the judges. Well, they were going at it pretty good there. The home side's going to get a lot of energy out of that decision. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the faceoff. The Coyotes win possession here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Larson. Here's a chance. Whoa. It's in the back of the net. And we've got ourselves a new game. Always amazes me, James, how one shot changes everything. Now this game is even. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Crosby's won it, and now it's grabbed by Dumoulin. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. The Penguins have it in the offensive zone. Move to the middle, deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. The Penguins have been handed two for interference. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much, that's a pretty easy call. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Well, James, here's the power play, and I guess the best part about that is they have a chance to negate the shorthanded goal that they gave up earlier. Sloppy play led to them to giving one up. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Puck grab by McCann. That's a good heads-up play at center ice. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Arizona's gained possession. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Cross-corner dump in. The Penguins gain possession of the defensive zone. Kraus will move the puck behind the net. Knocked away. Tries to get it out of the zone. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Turn that one aside. Dumoulin's name on this list is of no surprise. Always a very aggressive player. 
The setters will glide into the dot. Arizona's got possession here in their own end. That's the end of the first period, and a pretty good one at that. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for details, or you can visit... Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, was also set. Let's do this. The Penguins penalty killers get off to a good start, winning possession here. The Coyotes have it from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Taken by McCann. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Kessel's got it against the boards. And he comes up with a huge stop. Pittsburgh's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And that one fired right into the bench. This was a dangerous slap shot here. Scoring chance, but the goalie makes the save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. Arizona's gained possession along the boards. The Coyotes fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Here comes the pushback. And it's a much needed whistle for the injured player who's down on the ice. That one stung and he's slow to get himself back together here, James. I want to look at that again. Keller's injury clearly is a leg injury, lower body. You see him hopping down the tunnel towards the locker room to get some treatment. We'll try to get an update from the media relations department here shortly. Puck picked up by Pedersen. Drives to the paint, scores the go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight, now somebody's got a leg up. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Pittsburgh's given themselves control of this game now with a one-goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple-goal lead going into period three. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Quick pass to Yolmerson. Sends it in on the attack. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. The Coyotes gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it over, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Handles the puck. Here's an offensive chance. Answered the call on that play. Sucker's an example his coaches use for the other players. You don't have to give up offense to be a good defensive player. And if you do it right and you're good enough, you can get on this lead leader list of plus minus rating. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. Quick feed to Pedersen. Pittsburgh's moving it up the ice. Here's a chance, a two on one. Puck scooped up by Kraus. That's dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. The Penguins will play it in their own end. From the left side, takes it at center. A shot, and that's broken up. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. Works it across to Hayden. Can't connect. Feeds the puck over to Larson. Takes it to the front. Here's a short pass to Crosby. No one home on that play. 
Couldn't complete the play. The Coyotes gain control of the puck against the wall. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Picks off the pass. The Coyotes have done a terrific job intercepting pucks, having their sticks in positions to deny plays in the middle of the ice. This game has been really tight. Centering pass, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And a souvenir for one lucky fan will bring us to a face-off on the ice. The Coyotes have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. Schmaltz wins the face-off. Scooped up along the wall by Kessel. The Penguins have it against the wall. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Good hit on the play. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Came up with the save on that play. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Sends it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Well, this crowd is into it. I'll tell you what, this has been an ongoing story for a while now with the attendance. It is, James. It doesn't just happen, though. The marketing people do their job. They get people interested in it. The guys on the ice do their job. Now people come and have fun, and you look around, and there's not a seat anywhere. And now it's over to Zucker. Unable to reach that one. And the puck's knocked loose. Grabbed along the board by Zucker. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Slides it on over to Dumoulin. Moves it to Malkin. And we've got a two-on-one. Denied by Kemper. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. Here's a blast. Turns him away. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Oh, and another big stop. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Pushes it across to Malkin. Sends a pass over. Picked up along the wall by Kraus. Arizona's got the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. And he moves it up to Aston Reese. Centering pass, and that's blocked away. Arizona's got the puck along the boards. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Musa quickly over to step on. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Quick pass to Aston Reese. Can't catch up to the pass. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Here he is, on the wrap around. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. You can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. The Coyotes take it along the wall. Arizona's got the puck against the half wall. Angles it over to Kapanen. Pumps the puck away. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Takes it and looks ahead. Sends the pass over. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Kessel's in good shape here, but he ends up losing the puck and overhandle. Made the stop on that play. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it on. Quick feed to Gensel. And now he moves it to Kapanen. The Coyotes take possession here in the open ice. He says, let's get physical on that play. Mulkin sliding the puck behind the net. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Trying to get back on the attack now. 
Handles it along the blue line. Wide of the net. Demers has it in the defensive end. Puck moved over to Pitlick. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. Zucker's got the puck. Pittsburgh's got it behind the net. Taken along the wall by Malkin. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. Blocked in traffic. And now it's grabbed by Demers. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Puck sent over to Demers. Taken by Pedersen. Pittsburgh's got it into the offensive zone. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Huge stop by Kemper. The Coyotes will play it from the defensive zone. The Penguins ready to go on the attack. Stop by the goaltender. Another stop by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Washington's not about to make this road trip any easier, will they? No, every time you go into a building, you got the other team that's excited to play at home, and you're just trying to drag yourself in there, find some energy, find a cause, and play a good game. Slides it diagonally to Larson. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Couldn't make that one happen. Puck grab by Jankowski. Here's a short pass to Ricola. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Picked up along the boards by Matheson. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And that shot dies in traffic. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. The Coyotes take it along the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And now he tries to get it across to Ricola. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Another sold-out game. The team would like to thank you for your continued overwhelming support. Pittsburgh's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Turns it away. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. More than half the frame has been played here. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Moves it to Latang. Move to the middle. Nothing doing. You can go games without a chance from here. From the blue line, they take control of it. Here he is in close. Made that stop. Stepan's lugging the puck. Dvorak's got it along the boards. The Coyotes going to work on offense. Cuts to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Puck picked up by Crosby. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Let's it go! Quick stop by Kemper. And after that save, the puck skips out of play. And we'll get a face off. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The Penguins aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Still a tight one here as we approach the final minute of the third. Scooped up along the wall by Gensel. Blocked in traffic. Puck scooped up by Edwin Larson. And now he moves it quickly to Pitlick. Takes the pass. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Coyotes really need a goal here. They've pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. Fires towards the empty net. And there's the insurance marker much needed for them on this night. It's amazing how many times a guy misses an empty net, but this one he puts between the pipes. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty net or should put it away.
The Penguins add the insurance marker, which pretty much seals the deal on this one tonight, Ray. Well, their opponents pull the goalie. They're trying to pressure to get the tying goal, but it backfires. And the empty netter puts it away. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Fires into the empty net. Misses. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. Kessel swooping in on the attack. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Nice pass. Fires to the empty net, and that should do it as he puts it into the empty net. You ever notice how nobody ever really celebrates an empty net goal, but inside they're like, yes, I scored. I'm thinking you probably party for your two. Almost. <laughs> that should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. Ray, there was a certain point when this one seemed like it was over and I think the coach yeah. just didn't seem to want to accept that. Hello, look at the big clock. It cost $10 million. A lot. The numbers don't lie up there. Once they give up the first empty netter, it's over. You put man. it back, put in, it back right? in. You know, Razor, as a kid going to different barns all around, you just hope to wave or maybe get a, a, a high five or something. This is a whole next level. Yeah, now you're connected to this team. And as you grow up, you'll remember this stuff when you were a kid. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.